Hello and welcome to Edgar Street for Hereford versus Darlington. Darlington make four changes from their last game away at Kidderminster. Uh, in goal comes in Chris Elliott, at left back is Michael Little, Lewis Lang comes in for Terry Galbraith and up top uh, Justin Donner comes in for Stephen Thompson. The Darlington fans will be hoping for a, a better result than the, the one that was last season, which was definitely a game of two halves. The Darlington ended up on the wrong side of a 4-2 defeat. Throwing now for Darlington, Michael Little takes it quickly, plays it to Campbell, Campbell flips it first time to Rivers, Rivers turns one way, turns another and just gets completely blocked, that is a brick wall I mentioned as before. Yeah, anybody wondering, I've just seen on Mixler, there is no Stysian in Nicholson, Stice has gone to Bromsgrove, left yesterday, and John Nicholson is on loan at Buxton, gives the free kick now. Whipped in by Rivers, it's high. Oh, it's uh, Campbell was jumped in front of the keeper. Comes to the edge of the box. Joe Wheatley lets loose. Half volley smashes it, gets a deflection, and it's out for a corner. That makes it one all on the corner front. First one for Darlington. The set pieces are going to be interesting today. If the win Hereford midfield have got run it back, they try to put it forward. Edley gets it clear, but not far enough. Headley has a second chance, but he mishits it. And the ball just breaks for the number seven. Kelsey Mooney, who just for a second was cutting free. But some great pieces defending there from Lewis Lang. Got his foot out and put the block in before the shot come cross was put in by Hereford. We're doing it up there. In comes the corner. He's going to the far post. Chris, Re uh, Chris Elliott gets a fist to it. Comes to the edge of the box. Lang gets there to do it. Will Hatfield's shot bellowing at his players. They get out of the box. And there's Headley trying to win the ball from the goal kick. And now he's lost it. And it's come broken for, for John Lewis. He tries to put it across. Trying to block the net. And then Hereford midfield again trying to get it. Headley wins it this time. Finds Wheatley. Wheatley now drives forward. He's looking up. Plays it to Hatfield. Hatfield's got a bit of room. He's crossing over the centre circles. Raises it out to Rivers. Rivers got some space to run at. He's up against their right back. He's pushed him back to the edge of the box. He's moving alongside the box. But he plays it to Hatfield. Finds Wheatley. Then it's back to Rivers. Rivers on the edge of the box. Here takes a shot. Shoots. And it just dips of the keeper to saves it. But he doesn't keep it clean. He just manages to win it. Because there's about three Hereford players around him. And he managed to move it on. And now it's with Little. Little's got Rivers over on the left side. Took the took Havering over the touchline. Now he's coming in. He's up against the right back. Plays it infield. Finds Campbell. Campbell was behind him, but he's managed to make it work. Campbell breaks clear of one. Finds Donoa. And Campbell's won a team a free kick on the edge of the box. Right, fairly central. A decent bit of play there from the Darlington midfield. Moving the ball along nicely. He's going to get his right foot round it. Get that wind on it and keep it down. Let's see. Here it goes. Shoots. Oh, that's not too shabby from uh, Joe Wheatley. That wasn't too far away. Did that, was that to the left of the goal as well, or was it just over the bar? It's hard to see. I think it was left. Yeah, it was a very good effort, though. It wasn't far away. <laughs> Darlow's starting to retain possession a bit more. It's getting better, aren't they? They're, holding, they're keeping the ball, which is keeping, creating opportunities. Now Herif has got a chance to break clear. The number seven shoots. Straight down the throat of Chris Elliott, and he manages to scoop that up. Yes, passing's got a lot better in the last five minutes. Yeah, they're, they're a lot more composed on the ball. They've got back into it. Hereford were at one point looking like... Lovely ball played by Donaway. He's put Campbell in the box. He gets shot in. Dealt with by the keeper. Sorry, Harv. That was a great little piece of play between the two of them as well. Yeah, Hereford were really dominating for about a 15-minute spell, but the talent have done very well now. They're moving the ball nicely across the hole. It's the, the dictating, changing direction, changing the way that they're playing. And gave the centre half a chance to come and nick the ball away from him. And now Hereford have the ball. Hereford moving forward, it's Mooney again. Michael Little gets the blocking on him. 
looking at he doesn't look like he's shaping to take a shot or maybe he is I don't know in this weather with the wind you'd think free kicks get it get a get a shot in wouldn't you but he looks like he's dipping it in for the big strike pairing yeah he, no he's shaking a shot and it cracks off the crossbar he did exactly what he should didn't look like it was actually going to touch anywhere near the goal but somehow it did it dipped and hit the bar yeah, I think he, uh, I think he had it well covered. He was well behind it, and I think it held up. There's no doubt there was a win there. Hereford now moving the ball at the back, it's moved it nicely from the left to right. And from in the inside channel, number 11, O'Sullivan tries to flick it on. Gets doesn't get any change out of story, but he does get a corner. Hereford take the lead in the corner front. Hereford just ran to take the corner. It chinks it in, goes to the near post. Elliot gets a good punch on it. But should the, the taker of the corner is going to get the ball back. And then it gets dink. No, nope, tries to dink it in. Blocked from Rivers. Well played by Rivers. Headley gets a header, finds Hatfield. Hatfield puts Donner away. Donner has got some grass in front of him to run into. And he's going to open his legs up. Go on, Donner. Got the level with the 18 yard line. Puts a cross in. It goes all the way to Lair. To Jarrett Rivers. And it's a goal for Darlington. A goal that seemed innocuous, a good counter-attack and broke away. Dono had one of his first chances to open up on the with grass in front of him, played a crawl across, and Jarrett Rivers had an easy tapping at the far post. What do you reckon to that one, Arv? That was a lovely bit of play. Uh, broke out quickly from defence, played the ball um, wide very well. Very accurate, lovely ball in, and uh, lovely little finish. Little, that's well played. Now he finds Wheatley, but he's got a bit of room. Plays it back to Little. Darla can knock the ball around now. Plays the ball down the channel, looking for Rivers. Rivers is clattered into there by uh, Martin Riley. Don't think the centre half needed to. Uh, it wasn't quite as drastic as that. He'd got the player out down the wing. But Jack Rivers is starting to be the threat. And not a huge amount down the right hand side, apart from the goal, ironically. Right, here comes the free kick. It's going to be Jarrett Rivers. It's right footer. It's going to be swinging in. It's, no, it's dinked. It's gone all the way to the far post. Adam Campbell, brilliant piece of control. Finds Donover. Donover shoots. Gets a deflection. Another corner for Darlington. But his control just let him down there. But he wins the ball back for his team. Well played by Reid. Now it's broken for Joe Wheatley. Joe, Joe puts the ball through. Finds Campbell. He's free in the box. Gets a shot in. Oh, and it almost gets past the keeper. Whoa. another nice bit of football there from Darlington just putting a few passes together and suddenly Campbell's through on goal I think the only issue there Harv is that the ball just wouldn't come down low enough for him to get the shot away the ball's cleared by Darlington it's going to be thrown for Hereford catching right back for Hereford plays it to the keeper he's going to pump it Looks like a reasonably unaffected. The ball's got a flick off a Dala defender. And it's going to go out for a corner. Oh, that paperwork's blowing. In comes the corner. It's floated. Dala's not got it clear yet. There's an overhead kick. Cleared off the line by Ben Headley. Some of the 11 gets a shot away. Shot there by O'Sullivan. But it fires wide. Just a little bit scary. There's the, the winds whipped up there just as the corner was taking it hung around and Dallow weren't getting clear in their lines there but it's, it's a difficult one on the edge of the box there wasn't it from the from a, what's the name O'Sullivan because there's just no room there was just a myriad of people in the way wasn't there Cheer. it's a bit like QPR or Booth and Present that kind of that kind of pitch and um, I think what Dallow have done really well is to just keep circulating the ball oh, things and moving along oh and, and that's a goal that's a goal from absolutely nowhere John Lewis, he got himself some space in the penalty box. It looked like he's done it X amount of times in this game so far and not managed to deliver a cross or anything. I'm not even sure if it was a cross, but he took a shot and it went right in the top corner of Chris Elliott's, Elliott's goal to level it up. I'm not sure who's more surprised, the fans or the player himself. Sorry, Harv, that cut you in the middle of your bit there, but that took everybody by surprise. Fine. Story now Campbell puts it into the box. Wasn't sure if that was for Reed or for Donner, but neither of them managed to get to it. And the keeper's 
for Hereford has got the ball and sprayed it out quickly and he's found Mooney and he's got the touchline on the edge of the Darlow penalty box he's up against Lewis Lang he plays it back there's the number eight uh, Owen Evans in space finds uh, Kerr he gets a shot away and it's another corner Chris Elliott diving to his right hand side there again Hereford are starting to look threatening every time they come forward dig in when the opposition the home team are pushing it that corner comes in again Headley gets a good head on it clears it but only as far as the Hereford midfield and it gets put in again it's looping Elliot's going to need to watch it and he does and Elliot does very well there to hold on to the ball he was under threat there from John Lewis Keeper did well there Harv. he did very well yeah he had to cover a lot of ground to get back and stretch for that it's going to be a right foot out swinger comes in it's looping is it managing to stay in the number nine's just kept it in Joe Whitley's just desperately got it clear well, that means Hereford have a chance to put it back in and they're gonna this comes out for a cross on the left hand side comes across Little gets to it now that the left back is on the right side puts a cross in and it goes across and it's a first time shot from the number seven he blasts it straight at the goal but fortunately for Darling it was straight into Chris Elliott we'll give him the credit as a great save but that was a Darlow got out of jail there that's for certain got it wide put a cross in Hereford moving the ball around and that should have been 2-1 to Hereford well let's hope so I mean I suppose that our goal came at, not completely out of the blue but it was a bit out of the blue but it was a great movement so did theirs let's see how this one goes Hereford pump it forward Lang should be keeping on top of John Lewis and he does and Elliot comes out of his box to seal the deal Hereford fans not happy with uh, Lang not for a, a little bit in the second half we're starting to make that, those two strikers look good and trust me they aren't average strikers ball now with Donoghue in the centre circle he's having a little run he plays it out to the right hand side for Headley there's a few players there's about four players in the box here cross comes over balls for Thompson Gets a header and he just flashes wide of the post. Ball back. Dallas trying to move the ball quickly, but I think the wind, it's not just the ball, it's stopping the players moving. Now Lang's come forward with the ball and he's made it forward. That's it. He's got the ball out to Headley. Headley's coming in field. He's got to the edge of the box. He shoots. Ooh, and the keeper spills it. But he, I'm not sure the keeper will be enjoying seeing that one back score straight from the corner Stephen there we go in it comes it's a decent one and that was Alex Storey there and he's has he won the throw in and he's won the throw in as well well done good work from Headley don't think the Hereford fans were quite so keen on it but he took the throw in and Dono has been knocked off the ball far too easily Hereford get the ball across the box the shot comes in and there's the goal they were asking for trouble they're letting the crosses come in Donovan conceded the ball. Ball comes across, and I think that was Kelsey Mooney. He half got it on the half volley, just hits it towards the goal. And Elliot couldn't get to it. And that's made it Hereford 2, Darlington 1. He's kept the ball though, and he's got the ball from Headley again. Now it's top. Campbell tries to put the ball in, it's blocked another throw and gets it to Campbell again Campbell plays it easy ball for Hatfields now the ball gets played across the box full shoots and it's a goal for Omar Holders what a shot absolutely crazy absolutely crazy what Hereford just just uh, stood still as the ball got played Campbell had half a dozen goes it seemed to put the ball in the box he got the ball from Hatfield digged the ball into the box there seemed to be two players there had the chance to crack the ball but uh, Omar Holness just took it and smashed it into the net crazy Harvey Lang gets ahead to it doesn't able to direct it but well played by Michael Little he's made it work oh come on uh, Holness and Thompson not quite the races there Does anybody want to win this game? Ball put forward for Hereford. Now it's sprayed out to the right hand side. The number 15 gets a cross in. It's a good cross. Oh, and a fantastic diving save to his left. Chris Elliott. 
I think he has to be candidate for man of the match for Darlington today. And that's going to be no good to nobody. Or is the number nine going to keep it in? He is going to keep it in. It's in the corner spot. He puts the cross in. The number seven's in the Darlington penalty box. But he miscontrols it. And Elliot jumps all over the ball. And I think it's probably fair to say the man of the match is, uh, is the man that has the last touch of the ball as he holds on to it. Yet again to keep Darlington in this game and get us the valuable point which yet still may pay dividends towards the end of the season every point counts it's an away point Hereford not a bad side um, they're maybe not as bad as their league position would suggest they've still got a lot of they've not got a lot of potency up top but they're not a bad side necessarily what do you reckon Harv? I thought it was a really really open game really enjoyable to watch um, I think I think both sides tried the best to, to go and win it and to play attacking football. There was a lot of width to the game, so far as you could play wide on this uh, particular pitch. And um, I, it was just really, really enjoyable. And um, 